Oh god. Wasp. So, Archcon Type B. I think it's Archcon. I keep wanting to say like Arch Archon. Oh, actually, it's Archon. Yeah, apparently I can't read. Anyway, the Archcon Type Archon Type B is probably one of the most highly requested guns that I get in my messages to review. Um, to be honest with you, I understand why. Because if I wasn't who I was, me being me, and it wouldn't be weird because that would be me sending a message to myself. Um, I would probably send a request to the same person doing gun reviews. You get the point. Anyway, I, I myself have been very interested in this gun. And I think the reason why there's a lot of interest in this gun is because it is not a Glock, Glock, not a Glock. And what I mean by that is it's kind of like synonymous to saying, calling all soda Coke. So now anytime you have a polymer gun that's black, um, it's kind of like everybody's going to automatically compare it to a Glock. And, you know, for understandable reasons. Uh, all things considered, one of the biggest things that drew me to this particular gun is the way that it looked. It is different and it's unique. Not in like the alien-esque kind of way where it's like super far left, but unique but still normal enough where it looks familiar. I personally really like the look of the gun, but then there are, uh, are kind of aesthetic ergonomic elements to the gun that make you very curious about it. Uh, for instance, like this grip pattern with all these squares that look like they're seemingly going in different directions, mind you. Um, this trigger here, this kind of bow trigger, which aesthetically I like, and it looks like when I look at the gun, I think, damn, I kind of want to shoot this gun. This is one of those weird guns where when you see it, you really just want to shoot it because there are so many elements to it that look like they have a purpose, but you're not really sure. Like for instance, this little back deal here, um, like I said, the little texture grip, uh, the trigger, um, to even the slide work, it just it looks like it all has function, but then gives it a level of form that makes it look unique. And I can dig it. So I'm gonna do some more shooting and talk about how to shoot. I've been on a one hand shooting kick lately, I don't know why. But I always do ask myself if I find myself in a self-defense situation, I'm probably, I mean, theoretically, we're always kind of punching out here, but. And so I tend to wanna, whenever I get the chance, practice with one hand. So, one of the things that I've noticed about this gun is there's no muzzle rise. And I really mean that when I say it. It doesn't flip. And I'm notorious for hating guns that tend to flip a lot. It drives me insane. I can't stand guns that are really flippy. This gun shoots really flat from what I can tell and what I'm feeling. And another interesting thing about this gun is this grip texture. It is functional. So what it feels like it's going on, if you look here, is, is each of these kind of patterns are going in a different direction. This is going down, this is going right, this is going left, this is going left, this is going left, but then this is going up and then right and then flat. And I, ironically enough, what's happening, especially out here in the sun, and for those wondering why I'm glistening, no, I did not put on baby oil. It is sunscreen. I know I'm black and it's weird to see a black guy in the sun wearing sunscreen, but we can get cancer too. All things considered, what's happening with this gun is in my hand, it's almost counteracting the recoil of this gun so that it forces the grip of the gun to dig into my hand. Now, I didn't come up with that on my own. That was told to me. And when they was told to me, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to shoot it to believe it. It actually works, which is interesting. 
I kind of like it. All right, so as far as the trigger is concerned, uh, let's see, let's get on this side here so we can get a better idea. See, with this bow face trigger, I like the feel of the trigger on my finger. As far as the actual pull, you get that, that's the wall right there. And then you get the break. And then you reset, it's right there. And there's your break. Reset, break. Reset, break. So and theoretically, this is how I actually shoot is, and I'm back on the wall. And it's really easy to find the wall on this gun. You get a little bit of creep, but it still works. I like it. I like the trigger a lot, actually. And God damn, this gun does not flip at all. Like, I mean, look. Nothing, nothing. All right, I'm almost out of mags. Here we go. Another thing that's kind of dope about this gun is it comes with four mags. Usually when I do first mags, I only use the mags that come with the gun, which is usually two, or in my irresponsible manner, I forget or lose the mag, one. Let's see. Christ, this gun shoots really flat. The only gun that I, I can think of that shoots relatively, that's in that, that realm of shooting really flat is gonna have to be the Salient Arms tier one type one and uh the hudson nine another thing i'm noticing about this gun is that i call this the tendon this little tendon on the back strap here um it actually what i like about it what it does it actually kind of forces your hand up higher so your bore access not access but your access to the bore is a lot better everybody knows i butcher To that but you really get up high on the gun and i and i like it a lot and it causes the gun to pretty much make the gun feel like you're shooting from bore line to be honest with you um and i think that's a lot so you add you add this texturing the ability to get up right next to the bore and just the overall feel of the gun and the balance of the gun and along with the trigger just gives me that easy wall it makes for rather Easy gun to shoot. Even at, all right, how many mags we got? I like three, four, five rounds. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Oh, come on, you better than that. Ah. All right, uh, two, three out of five is not bad. What are we about? Uh, say about 160, 150. Um, but Archon Type B, I really like it so far from what, I, from what I'm shooting. I really wanna put more rounds through it and really get a feel for it. But the one thing that stands out the most to me is how flat it shoots. It's just a really flat shooting gun. Um, the trigger's nice. The grip, this grip is just, I don't know. It it doesn't, it's not supposed to work, but it does. It kind of looks like the scales on a, on a snake, but I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Huh. You know how they say, don't, don't meet your heroes? I think the same thing can be said in the gun world. Sometimes they say, don't shoot your heroes. Basically don't see a gun that you really, 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 really love. And it's say, man, I can't wait to shoot it. And then you shoot it and it sucks. Right now, I don't think this is the case with this gun because I've actually really wanted to shoot this gun for a while now. And now that I've gotten the opportunity to, I'm not disappointed. And I'm a little concerned because the way this gun feels in my hand, especially out here when it's hot and sweaty and I'm glistening, all like LL Cool J style, um, it still, it just, it just, it just sticks to my hand. It's the weirdest thing, but I like it. Archon Firearms. Type B, full link review coming soon. Right now there's a culture war against the second amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you wanna keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, 
It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt, click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video.